I'm not sure if you've noticed, but your new friends don't seem too fond of you. These guys are just interested in marking their territory. Vanquish is an action third-person shooter released by Platinum Games and published by Sega for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 that was released in 2010, with the Windows support becoming available in 2017. The game was directed by Shinji Mikami, who is most notably known for his first installment of the Resident Evil series as well as The Evil Within. The game is notable for introducing several innovations to the 3D shooter genre, including a fast-paced style of gameplay, reminiscent of 2D bullet hell shooters, beat-em-up elements, and an original sliding boost. The game's plot sounds like a sci-fi apocalypse movie. Just listen to it. In the near future, Earth's human population blunders to the point where nations fight for scarce resources. The United States of America attempts to alleviate energy problems by launching the SC-01 Providence an O'Neill space colony using a solar energy microwave transmitter to provide them with an alternate source. However, the government has been overthrown by a section calling themselves the Order of the Russian Star. The capture providence and the use of the microwave transmitter to devastate the San Francisco. Viktor Slalziv, a Russian Star agent, demands the American government surrender to order he will target New York City. So broken down, basically, Russia wants to take over the world. Again, of course, the game's main antagonist is Sam Gideon, a DARPA agent armed with an augmented reaction suit. One thing you notice about Sam is that he has cheesy dialogue and man, does he like to smoke. I mean, literally the guy smokes in most, if not all of his cutscenes, which had me thinking how the guy can run around so much without dying of an iron lung or needing an oxygen tank. Maybe he has it in the suit. I don't know. Sam is helped throughout the game by Elena Ionova, who assists him through cutscenes, and also Lieutenant Colonel Robert Burns, who has a metal arm, a chain gun, and apparently doesn't like Sam smoking. This guy is actually really, really fun to watch and have dialogue with, and to watch him during the gameplay with his chain gun and just to go crazy with all the enemies around is actually really, really fun. Sam's arsenal consists of the blade weapon system and two types of grenades. The blade system can store up to three weapons at a time from a total of eight standard weapon types, plus three also in the DLC packs. The player is able to swap weapons if they come across a supply box or a weapon they don't have on the floor from a dead enemy or a dead boss. They simply have to hold down the reload button, and this will replace the weapon in the active slot with the weapon of their choice and discard the one they don't want. On top of the weapons that Sam can possess from enemies, he also has his favorite thing with him, cigarettes, and they can be used to distract enemies throughout the game. You usually have three cigarettes each level, or each mission. Sam loves cigarettes so much, you can even earn an achievement distracting enemies with your cigarettes. And they are best used while behind cover as this game utilizes a cover based system for the player to protect them and help regenerate their health. Besides Sam's weapons and handy cigarettes, he also has the AR suit or augmented reaction suit. If the player takes too much damage, the suit will automatically enter into AR mode. AR mode increases Sam reflexes tenfold, essentially slowing down time for Sam to evade attacks, basically entering a bullet time effect, such as the Max Payne series or the Matrix, think of it. The player can also manually enter the AR mode by holding down the aim button while evading, sliding, or vaulting over cover, allowing the player to see the enemy's weak points and making it easier to kill them. At any time, the player can use the boosters or to quickly slide around the area or also enter AR mode. But the player must be mindful using the suit abilities and boosters. If they're used too much in a short period of time, the suit eventually goes into a cooldown mode. And during this cooldown mode, the abilities are not accessible. So you have to weigh it out. The basic gameplay of Vanquish is very smooth as it's easy to move around, slide around, enter the AR abilities, as well as shoot, swap weapons, and also go into scoping with weapons. So it's pretty smooth around for the player, and actually it has a really, really nice soundtrack as well. Vanquish is actually a backward compatible game on the Xbox Live network right now, so it can be played with the Xbox One X, and even on the Windows port as it was just ported last year. I actually picked mine up a couple years ago for about $12 in a bargain bin, but you can actually get it at GameStop right now as, as of this recording for about 5 bucks. Or if you want to go the digital route, you can pick it up on Xbox Live for about 20 so if you like third person shooters with wacky sci-fi weapons and wacky characters, this is a game to check out. 
and for the price, exactly something you would want to play. So I recommend checking it out when you get a chance. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.